A majority of us humans here on Earth love compliments from strangers and from people we know. Whether you're hoping for them or not, they are always a welcomed surprise. They can easily boost your confidence and change your mood because they essentially affirm the decisions you've made for yourself up to that moment, at least in that day. The most difficult thing about compliments is that unless you hang around a very social friend group, they're extremely rare for most of us. Fragrances like Mancera Cedrat Boise, Dior Sauvage, Parfum the Marley Layton, Rosasi Hawass. They have all been touted as compliment magnets. But wait, why would we feel the need to classify certain fragrances as ones that get compliments versus ones that allegedly don't? That's where social media comes in. Many people come here looking for advice, recommendations, and most urgently, answers. Here is the question in question. How do I get more compliments on my fragrances? Which fragrances should I buy that will do it for me? Let's first analyze the root of this. Why would we seek compliments? I know I already established at the beginning that we love them when they come, but are they a necessity to survival in a happy life? Absolutely not. In fact, I believe you should be content with the idea of never receiving another compliment on your fragrance. That might sound a little severe, but I think it's actually a very small yet important part in helping you to build a higher self-image. If you missed my video breaking down the differences between self-image and self-confidence, check out this video. Back to social media. In popular content, fragrances are portrayed as a tool that can allegedly affect your environment in such a way that is favorable for your self-esteem and your ego. I know most of you can see right through this. Fragrances are not an easy button nor a remote control for the people around you. They are an invisible accessory. And while they can be very powerful, you still need to use effort to bridge the gap with good hygiene, a sense of intentional style, and good people skills. Speaking of people skills, I know you've probably had enough of me explaining everything but the promise that this video title offers. You're looking for the secret to getting more compliments on your fragrances. Well, well, to be honest with you, I don't have any guarantees to offer you in this regard. And if anyone says they do, run. But what I can offer you is a valuable piece of advice that you can take or leave. You ready? I can hardly wait to share this with you. If you want to receive more compliments, you need to give more compliments. Yes. Through affirmation obsessed content here online, so many of us have been conditioned to become what I call social vacuums. We want to be noticed, recognized, and confirmed just for showing up. To an extent, this is okay, it's normal. But are you willing to offer a stranger the same treatment? Are you willing to step outside of your comfort zone and genuinely compliment someone on their shirt, their shoes, their haircut, or even their fragrance? I know there are some of you watching this video that already do this, especially in regards to fragrances. You might sniff something on someone, find it pleasant, or even if you don't find it pleasant, you might recognize it, start up a conversation with them, and try to identify what they're wearing. This is always a lot of fun, and it freaks people out in the best way, especially if you can know what they're wearing. And it makes them feel good. Okay, Justin, let me guess. You're saying that if we give more compliments to strangers, we will in turn receive more compliments from them because they will want to return the favor, right? Well, maybe. Obviously, that's not guaranteed. But what I can tell you is that your chances of receiving a compliment go way up by you giving one first, way more than if you said nothing at all. Just think about it. People are drawn to leaders and leaders are initiators. But here's what I'm actually saying. We are truly happiest when we are giving, not receiving. I know that's completely cliche. I know you've probably heard it a bunch of times, said a bunch of different ways, but there's a reason why it's been regurgitated for essentially the entire time humanity has been on this planet. It's true. And until you've lived it, you couldn't understand. You'll be amazed at how good you feel when you lift someone up. And you'll feel so good that you won't even need a compliment on your scent. But if you get one, Cool. Here's another secret that goes along with the first one. Any fragrance you love to wear can get you compliments, not just the ones that are compliment getters for others. For example, here's some non-mass appealing fragrances that I've gotten compliments on. Marc Antoine Barrois Ganymede, kind of a strange suede leather, metallic, fresh, minerally fragrance that is apparently pleasant. Fragrance du Bois Sara. This is a rich, sweet, yet soft and supple rose oud, really, really elegant, luxurious stuff. And Tom Ford, 
black orchid parfum. Earthy truffle, boozy, floral, sweet, a little bit rough around the edges, but I found this one to be rather likable under certain circumstances. Your reputation is who people think you are. Your character is who you really are and who you choose to be. Wear what you love. Wear your character daily. It looks and smells way better on you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.